if you want to beat more defenders stop giving the ball away when you dribble these are some soccer dribbling drills with cones before i give you some soccer dribbling drills with cones i want to talk about why i don't even really use this stuff myself i think it can be good for young players for beginners that need to get more touches in their feet in both feet they need to just learn how to manipulate the ball in different ways it can be very good it can help you build confidence if you're just starting out but if you're more of an advanced player i probably wouldn't recommend these drills because they're not match realistic obviously i'm overemphasizing this to make my point but in a match i wouldn't dribble like that i wouldn't dri dribble the same pattern 10 times in a row and i wouldn't dribble at that pace or else i get tackled so i like to encourage drills that are more creative more match realistic allow you to go anywhere with the ball because that's actually what you're going to do in a game however if you still want to do these do it in a specific way so what this what these drills really are good for are developing especially the cuts the changes of direction and the body control the weaving in and out i really like them for that so when you're coming through these cones i want you to imagine that these are two players and i'm cutting between them because that is a touch that you will do in a game so if you're going to do the dribbling drills just try to do them with pace and i'll give you a few examples of realistic drills that may make this more worth your time hey what's up i hope you're finding this content helpful watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out so if you're going to do a double touch inside outside just make sure it is nice and quick and whenever i'm changing direction i'm always focusing on that low center of gravity okay pushing off because that's what this is really beneficial for it's the cuts between players between two players and those sharp changes of direction the technique of the cut because a lot of times especially if you're starting out and i'm trying to go that way my cut is probably here so learning to actually bring that ball back into you and make it go where you want with one touch so that's what i would move to next after the double touch is the single touch okay right foot Oy. let me go again because that's sloppy good so notice the the technique of the cut as i said really overemphasizing turning the foot turning the hips when i'm cutting the thing i want you to think about as far as body movement is actually skipping away while you're making that outside cut because i can just take a touch but if i really want to get good at avoiding tackles learning to really jump away with that touch is going to help me escape more defenders how many times have you seen messi dribbling full speed someone comes to tackle him just skips out of the way continues with his dribble so think about adding that the low center of gravity on the cuts bending the knees not just focusing on your touches but focusing on control of the body and then skipping away from tackles next one you could do is a inside touch but again is that realistic go slow to build up your rhythm but i want to be going a little quicker each time and i should be making mistakes every so often just like that because if i'm not then i'm not challenging myself you could do the same but a double touch you know i do like this one because it's a touch i use all the time he's lunging for the ball i take it away from him The next one you could do is a drag back, roll back. But let's try two versions, two touch, one touch. One touch would be again like the inside foot. 
good skill. Is it realistic? Would you actually dribble like that in a match? No, but good to have that technique. More realistic is probably dragging back from the defender. Good, so I've talked about this before. If I'm doing the skill, if I'm trying to beat him and my touch is there, he's probably sticking down his foot, easy tackle. That's why I want more of that side touch and a skip. Same goes for this inside touch. Again, if I'm touching it here on top of his foot, he's probably tackling me. But if I'm touching out here, he's not gonna get me. Same for the roll. If I roll it over nice and easy like that, that's easy for him to tackle. If I actually drag it away from him, drag it back into myself, that's much harder for him to get. The last match realistic dribbling drill with cones that I'll show you is the toughest one for me. So I saved it till last is this outside skip touch, but I'm changing feet each time. Okay, and the reason that's so difficult is because I need really good control of my body, really good balance. If I'm trying to do this up here, lunging, just having nice touches, not gonna happen. I have to have really good balance, really bend the knees, quick feet, good rhythm. But this is realistic movement. These are movements that are going to allow you to get away from defenders. Okay, so when you're doing these drills, think about a few things. Obviously the quality of those touches, but really overemphasizing the cuts. So the technique of the foot, really overemphasizing, especially if I'm trying to go the opposite direction, really get your foot around it. The hips, really turning the hips around the bowl, not just trying to dribble like this, cut direction like this, getting my hips around it, bringing the ball back into me rather than across the defender's foot and that low center of gravity, whether I'm skipping away from someone or I'm changing direction, shielding the ball. One more bonus drill for you. And this one is probably the best because it's the most realistic. I would just say go for a freestyle dribble. So use whatever skill you want to get through those cones. Okay, different touches. Be creative. This is more realistic. That's something that would happen in a game. You'd have to figure yourself out, figure a way to get through the defenders, get through the cones. So that is the last drill that I'll give you today. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.